Hey everyone, Hurricane Liz here, and in today's video, I'm gonna actually show you guys the results I've gotten in my brand new drop shipping store. Now, before we start, let me just say this. This particular drop shipping store is on Amazon, and it's an aged account. What that basically means is that I've sold other things on this account prior to actually drop shipping. So keep that in mind. That's why you're gonna see really big results. And so let's just jump straight in. So as you can see right here, I'm inside my store. And to be quite honest, right before we started on this store, it really hadn't sold a heck of a lot. You can see in the past 30 days, it has over $34,000 in sales. However, the past seven days have been $20,000. So if you do the math on that, it's probably on pace to hit 90K this month. So you can tell from that that it really didn't have a heck of a lot in sales. I wanna say it was making about $3,000 a month before I put a drop shipping store in here. So you might be wondering, what kind of crap was I selling in there before? Well, as you can see to the right of me, I'm selling a lot of things that I bought and have packed back up to send to Amazon and all sorts of stuff. Like it just pretty much retail arbitrage. And for those of you that don't know what that means, it's stuff that was bought in retail outlets and is being resold on Amazon just so that I, I could age this account. Now, the, another thing you might wanna notice is it has a total of 37 seller feedbacks over the past 12 months with a 4.9 rating. So it's an older account, it's aged, I've sold other things, and I don't have a heck of a lot of seller feedback, but I have 37 on there. So that's just a little bit of the backstory before we actually jump in and we take a look at what's happening. So as you can see here, in total to this point, there, right now, today, there's 82 unshipped orders, and we're at about 11.30 a.m. right now, today, and it's at $1,500 in sales. So, can you do this? Absolutely, but what you have to understand is that you too will have to sell other things on that account in order to age it first. So, let's take a look at day one. As I promised you, this is day one. Um, let's take a look at what happened on day one. So you guys can kind of have an idea. So the very first day that this actual store was open was on the 13th of June. Today's the 24th, so I'll update this later to let you guys know how I'm doing now. But as we can take a look, my very first day drop shipping on this store, I sold a total of $3,800 in sales, 49 units ordered. Uh, one year ago today, this store was making about $1,099. This is a store that I had about a year ago uh, where I was selling some summer items on Amazon. And now I decided to repurpose it and make it a drop shipping store. So you might also wonder what kind of stuff am I selling on here? Well, uh, to be quite honest, it's stuff that you can get in other stores and it's more expensive on Amazon. So I'm basically arbitraging drop shipping products. And Another question that I've been asked quite a bit lately in the comments is, am I using any software? And the thing that I'm gonna say is in the past, I have used software, but I've stopped using software to find listings altogether for one basic reason. And that is the fact that if you put too many listings on your account, particularly if it's brand new, you will get suspended and then have to come back from the suspension. So that can be very difficult because Amazon will require receipts and things like that. So pay close attention. Don't put too many listings on your account. Make sure you follow somebody that's had experience dealing with this. And trust me when I say I've lost the store and the guys that I've been working with know the system and they know exactly how to age an account. So in the next coming weeks, I'm gonna show you guys what happens when I start with a completely brand new store. But keep in mind, this one was aged and on day one, just straight out of the gate, $3,800 in sales. So second actual tip I'm gonna give you guys on this video, it was not meant to be a tip video, but make sure you surround yourself and you find people out there that are doing this so you can collaborate and work with them. Now the guys that I've been working with, their, the relationship I have with them has been invaluable and in the next couple videos, you guys are gonna get to meet them and see the system that they use to be able to start stores like this and get them up and running with a lot of sales. And it's, I'm, I'm grateful that I found them, but again, it was because of the fact that I went out there and I actively looked for people that were doing this so that I could collaborate with them. So. Again, drop shipping on Amazon can go fantastic if, again, you age your account very slowly, very meticulously, you sell other things like FBA stuff, don't just throw up a bunch of listings, don't just get software up there that tells you to mindlessly throw up listings, learn a little bit more about it before you jump head in. 
and you two can see similar results that I do now. The final question that I'm gonna answer, because I know a lot of people will be wondering, what percent of this is profit? And the profit is 10%. And I know a lot of people might be saying like, well, that's not a lot. Well, my question is, where else are you gonna get an actual passive income stream that gives you about $2,500 a week? It's, it's just not out there. So we will see in the future how I actually built this and I'll, I'll show you guys a couple other things on how to find products. But other than that, let me know in the comments and questions below what else you wanna learn about Amazon dropshipping and if you have any other questions. Again, let me know if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.